Hi everybody, here before us I've got all the tools we've discussed so far in regards to identities. We've got our reciprocal identities, quotient identities, Pythagorean identities, and our cofunction and odd even identities. For right now, I'm going to keep just these in mind. I don't want you to forget about the cofunction even odd, but we won't use those quite as often. So for now, let's go ahead and get rid of our friends, the cofunctions and the even odd, focusing on our reciprocal quotient and Pythagorean. Our goal of this lesson is going to be to simplify trigonometric expressions. Let's remind ourselves what it means to simplify something. Simplify. First, you want to rewrite with as few terms as possible. Next, we want to rewrite without the use of fractions. The first method we're going to use to do this is rewrite expressions using only sine and cosine functions. Here we've got the expression cosecant x times secant x minus cotangent x. Let's try to simplify by rewriting using only sine and cosine. Let's take this first term here first. Here we have cosecant x. Looking at my reciprocal identities, I can rewrite cosecant x as 1 over sine x. Next, I look at my secant x. My reciprocal identity, secant x equals 1 over cosine x, so I can rewrite that as well. Next up, we have minus cotangent x. Looking at my quotient identities, I see that cotangent x equals cosine over sine. Let's go ahead and replace that too. Combining all these, I'm going to end up with 1 over sine x cosine x minus cosine x over sine x. All right, now that we've got everything rewritten using only sine and cosine, let's see what we can do from here. Well, I know I want to get to as few terms as possible, so what if I rewrote these fractions with common denominators? So I see here I have 1 over sine x cosine x. Here, my denominator has a sine x but not a cosine x. So let's multiply this one by cosine x over cosine x. That's going to leave us with 1 over sine cosine minus cosine squared over sine cosine. Now that we've got common denominators, let's put those together. That'll be 1 minus cosine squared x all over sine x cosine x. All right, what can we do from here? Well, I see a 1 and a cosine squared x. Whenever you start seeing 1s and trig functions squared, you might want to think Pythagorean identities. Here, my first one, I have sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Now, if I do a little maneuvering here, since here I have 1 minus cosine x, what if I subtracted cosine squared x from both sides? That's going to leave me with sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x, and I can replace that 1 minus cosine squared x with my sine squared x here. That's going to leave me with sine squared x divided by sine x times cosine x. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Here we have a sine squared over a sine. One of my sines could cancel out. That's going to leave me with sine x over cosine x, and since I want to rewrite without a fraction, looking at my quotient identities, I know that sine over cosine equals tangent, tangent x, and there we go.